Today we're going to learn how to change a capacitor out. In one of these electrolytic capacitors, I've shown you many, many times in my videos of changing these components out, but I have never actually showed you how I do it. There's a couple methods that I do. If I am in a quick hurry to change it out, I just use a soldering iron. If I'm taking my time, I want to use a desoldering iron. You can buy those from Radio Shack. Um, I do have a tutorial on how to use a desoldering iron in my video. I could show that. You'll see that in the video description. But basically, you got a point here and here. It's just too high for you to see. Um, where am I at? Right here and here it should be a component. What you're going to do is you're going to heat on one side of the lead and as you're heating the lead up you're going to pull this way with it so let's see if I can try this all at once I'll show you a demonstration you can see the iron, you can see the capacitor and that's all I'm doing, I'm heating it up I'm pulling it in that direction Capacitors out. Now, I did it in a method that it doesn't necessarily mess up the capacitor because I'm heating it up. So I can use this capacitor in the future since this is a junk board. Then I don't want to discard this capacitor. I'm just using this as an example. Let's try this with a different one. I can use the same method for the smaller ones. There's some mud over here. Can't use those for the bigger ones like that. Try to find a different board for you. Here we go. Here's another one. You get the capacitor right here. That's all I'm doing. I'm just heating it up. And you can tell whether you're going to have it's going to come out real easy. So this side has already made its own little hole. So most of the time when you pull a capacitor out with the TV boards it'll leave tiny holes open so all you have to do is just stick the next capacitor in there and you're done but that's pretty much the gist of all I do when I remove a capacitor there's a bigger one than what I removed for, that you've seen facing a different direction Normally I retin them, I resolder them with lead. The TVs that you have these days, they use lead free soldering. If these are bad components, this is what I do. So I don't not, I'm not going to care what's, what happened to the capacitors. You're not going to worry about the board too much. Cause they're not going to heat it up that bad anyway. So couple of seconds and you get your competitors out. So hopefully you've learned in this video on how to remove a capacitor. And that's in the whole essence of the video. I just removed three capacitors in less than five minutes. So I'm replacing them, putting new ones in. It's just as simple as putting a capacitor back in where it was and heating them up heating the joints back up if you want to use a solder wick you can use the solder wick but get yourself a nice iron 
this is the cheap one from Walmart to get yourself a nice iron and that's all you need so thanks for watching I'll see you next time